The song was Hold On Loosely. The year was 1981. I'm Don Barnes of 38 Special, and these are the sounds of the time. The members of 38 Special got their start in the musically rich culture of Jacksonville, Florida, and they weren't alone. Basically hit a golf ball and hit everybody that came out of the, that area. Most people think it's from the water or something, but Jacksonville was a Navy town at four naval bases. Everybody played sailors clubs. The Allman Brothers, Greg and Dwayne Allman, Ronnie Van Zandt, all the Leonard Skinner guys, and everybody that came out of Tom Petty was from Gainesville. and so. We kind of owe our careers, I guess, to the Navy because we were out there every night. You know, we'd go to school and play at enlisted men's clubs at night. The group's name came about as the result of an incident involving their first rehearsal space. It was an auto parts warehouse. It was condemned. We boarded all the windows up and the front door, we'd made it about a foot thick with the rebar and two by fours and like a vault because we had to leave our equipment out there. And it was in the middle of nowhere in the woods. Somebody lost the key to the lock. So we had to find an old ladder. We would climb up an old window upstairs. We'd climb in and climb down and rehearse. So one night, we had been there about three months. It was sound pressure inside this place was huge, you know, so we stopped the song and we heard them banging on the doors. They had tried to make a raid on this place. I guess the cops from the constables around that area, they wanted to know what's going on. They thought it was wild parties or something. So we, we yelled through the door. We didn't have a key to the lock and then we'd have to climb up the window to climb up. And one of them said out the outside, they had a 38 special, they were gonna shoot the lock off, like the old West days or something, you know? And we thought that was kind of funny at the time. We didn't have a name for the band. So we decided we'd call it 38 special just for then, and we'd come up with a better name later, and we just never did. Over time, the band left behind the Southern rock it started out with in favor of a newer sound. We always said it had been done by the best. We were copying. We stripped it all away and said, we want to play arenas like everybody else. We want to do that and get on the radio. We said it's a simple approach. It's, we call it a melody and muscle. Their new sound delivered a breakthrough hit, a tune Don Barnes wrote with the help of his friend Jim Peterick of the band Survivor. I had gone through a bad time in a marriage back then where she was wanting to kind of criticize me and uh, kind of keep me under her thumb and I was trying to be somebody, trying to rise up. We all were, we all trying to. So that became a, a clash with, with a couple. And I said to uh, Jim, what is it about people that can't seem to celebrate their differences and, and support each other, you know? And give each other space to breathe, you know, and be themselves. And I, and I had a little notebook and I had a title written down. What do you think about this title, Hold On Loosely? And he said, oh yeah, but don't let go. And that was the first thing he said and it was the perfect couplet, and we were just off to the races. It's a very simple song. The chorus is the same chords as the verse, and it was just really linear, you know. That's an anthemic song. It's been, we, we save it to the very end, like the cherry on top, and everybody goes wild. The song got a boost by being the 13th video shown on the first day of a certain music TV station. MTV was just starting out. They came out to Denver, Rainbow Music Hall. This is a station that was going on cable TV with no content. So they would have to bring their own camera men out and film live stuff because they had no videos. So yeah, the first day it was, was theirs. Hold On Loosely helped set the course for 38 Special holding them steady through succeeding decades of lineup changes and music industry upheavals. If you've got a great melody, a good voice over it, and a good story, then we always said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's been our, our creed the whole time, is keep it simple and keep it honest and put truth into it, you know.